Today I'm going to do an experiment that I've always been curious about. Can one 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery start an air conditioner? And if it can start an air conditioner, how long will it run? So that's what I'm going to find out the answer to today. It's mid-August, it's hot out, I figure this is the perfect day. Let me tell you a little bit about my setup. I'm going to start with the inverter. This is a Gandel 12 volt 4000 watt 7000 watt surge beast. I know this is going to be able to handle it. I'm not concerned about that. It is a monster inverter. The battery. This is a Truvalux 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery like I just mentioned. It's fully charged 14.6. It's a brand new battery. I just did a video on it. It performed incredibly well. So um, I'm hoping it'll work. This is an old 5000 BTU air conditioner. It's a GE. I have no idea how old it is. I've had it for several years. It was on the property when we got here. So who knows how old it is. My concern is, is, is it going to surge? Is it going to be enough? Is this going to be enough to run it? Because this is kind of small to be running this kind of a load. So that's going to be the question. I have a kilowatt meter here. This will track all of the energy. I have my timer here so we can see how long it lasts. This battery also has a Bluetooth app, so it'll tell me all the information. I'll keep checking in on it. So that's kind of the scenario. Um, I'm going to keep this on as cold as it can go. Uh, I'm going to keep it on high. Um, I'm just going to have it go as much as it can go. So let's um, fire this thing up. Okay, the inverter is on. And the air conditioner is on. We turn it all the way down. 64 degrees as far as it will go. I'm going to take it off eco. It's on cold. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to check and see what is coming out of my battery right now. So out of the battery it says 400 watts is coming out. Really cool app. So we're going to run it. We're going to see. I mean, it's uh, running it, so uh, it at least started it. And we'll see how long it lasts. I'm just curious. I mean, it's something I've always wanted to know. How long will one, one battery last? Let's find out the answer.
right, the battery just died. Before I do the big reveal, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think it ran for, what time you think it did. So it did one, well, I gotta add, actually add this up because it only does two digits. So let me quickly add this up. 100, eight. Okay, I now have the amount of hours it ran. It ran for 2.8 hours. Was uh, anybody close? Love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Now let's check the energy. Plug everything. Bring this in closer. Now this will tell us what the maximum amount of wattage was going through it and also the amount of energy. So we did one 0.217 kilowatts. Let's see what that is. So we got 95% of the energy from the battery, which is excellent considering the overhead of the inverter and everything. So the high was 528 watts. So that's the maximum amount of energy. I'm sorry, that's the maximum amount of power that went through the system. So right before everything shut down, I was looking at the app and uh, the power right here was saying about 480, I think. So it looks like the average running wattage out was about 480 or so. I think that's all the information we're gonna get. So there you go. That's the answer. One 12 volt, 100 amp hour Truvalux lithium iron phosphate battery can run a 5,000 BTU air conditioner for almost three hours and can get 95% efficiency out of it, which I think is excellent, again, considering that uh, the inverter is gonna have some overhead. But there you go, there's the answer. If anybody's ever done a test like this, love to hear what you have to say. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to everyone soon.